up uh, back up with a little spot in Northumberland. It's not a camp this time, it's just uh, we'll just pop up for a day camp. We're gonna get some uh, bits of admin done on the bright. Aye. We thought we might as well make a um, little video where we'll be. It's lovely the day. Uh, it is new. It is now, aye, wasn't it? We're holding off for the weather, but it's, it's held its own. It's beautiful out there. I'll get the camera. You can see Scott's Gap from here. Eh, uh, not Scott's Gap, what's that called? Rothley Castle. See that just from here, that's how clear it is. But uh, yeah, Brian's brought with some. Uh, what you brought Burgers. Burgers from the farm. I've uh, put a short on, correcting it. Um, I got the name wrong, but I've corrected it on a little short. But we've got some more burgers. They're so nice, we're going to cook them twice. But yeah, we'll bring it back. We're going to get with chairs out and uh, table and that. And uh, I've got a little review to do on the saw that I didn't do on the last video. That he's down on that one. You got? I've brought it with his eye, Brian. It's fully charged. Oh, Mike, we've got enough time, eh? Right? Yeah, bring it back. Right, so yeah, we are. Just bring the chairs and the table up. And Brian's getting the brews on now. We're gonna have a brew, something different. Normally, we're uh, pouring back the beers and that, Brian, aren't we? Wow. And the Mega Jack Daniels. I don't <laughs> Sensible one this time, yeah, just a day camp. See, we've got some admin today which we can't show on camera because it's a secret. It's where, secret. Bri it's where Brian grows his tatties, we'll come to the tent. But, but um, oh. we're going to get the, the burgers on. We've got a couple of thank yous to say as well, so we'll do that soon. Uh, you guys will know what I mean if, if people are watching, but yeah, we'll do it. I promise I'll do it if the next time I won't, yeah, so it's a good chance. And a review on the saw. Cracking saw. It is a really good saw. It's a uh, Dooley and Son Limited. So it sounds British, so it sounds like it's um, made in the last price. Well, it's made in China. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> but it's made in China. Mini chain, so. But yeah, I'll set it up after we've had it. Uh, once we get the brews on the go and we'll burgers guys and that, and uh, we'll talk about it. But yeah. What else do you want on a Sunday evening, people? Yeah. BI. If only we could have. Uh, Stayed up, yeah, then it's perfect, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. Should have brought my hammer, it's up like fucked off at six o'clock in the morning. Uh. <laughs> right, bring his all back in a bit. Right, so we're just having a brew now. Uh, the first person, with, uh, me and Brian, would like to say thank you is a lad called Paddy Carr. I've, uh, I've known him for quite a few years now. Uh, and not long ago, we realised we were doing the wild camping and we've started talking, and uh, he's a very handy man. Tell you what, some of the stuff he makes is unbelievable. He makes little uh, figures and all that, tanks and pr a little. He's got spray guns and everything. He's, he's really good at what he does. I think I'm uh, obviously pay him. I'm gonna use him for some stuff in the future. But he's made me and Brian a uh, paracord survival bracelet. Uh, just quickly show you. Uh, he's given it as a gift, and we're uh, on one condition. Uh, but we're gonna talk with him about the conditions. Uh, yeah, they're really good. They're really, really good. On the brine, Cracking nice little gift. Life. Lovely. The design, realistically, is of what I can remember. Correct us if I'm wrong, Paddy. It's back in the day, you used to have these on your wrist, and if like a boot lace goes out, you could just use to pull them, and you could use them for tying up stuff. Survival, well, it's survival. But uh, I seen him make them, and I thought I want one of them. How much? And he just says, "I'm gonna gift you and Brian there uh, because he's what he's doing is good." So yeah, Paddy, really appreciate it, mate. Really appreciate it, mate. Thank you. We'll honour what we've said as well. We'll do uh, uh, definitely. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll keep that between us and then we'll bring you we'll bring you on uh, but yeah thank you very much mate uh, all the best have a good weekend uh finish coming we'll see this video well uh, that's it some uh lovely burgers from that farm shop again for with tea and they lovely this bright cracking aren't they aye absolutely people i've got something to take home Ooh. rather better than them probably tea them all oh, good you just really need to go and try that farm shop they really are good i had the mince today with the, uh, the little one for with dinner i had a uh, like veg and yorkshire and just mince and gravy she so asked for it so i used that mince and it was made a difference eh? really did so yeah i'm gonna cook these burgers up and uh bring it back when we're eating them eh or when brian's eating his if i get a cook because the pan's shite but we'll see right. well just sitting here having my burger i forgot to bring it on when brian was eating his uh it's gone in seconds, they're really good. They are really good. Busy eating mine now. While we're on the situation of cooking and stuff, uh, there's another person we'd like to thank, and that's Kev. 
Kev Snowden, a very good friend of ours. Um, he supports, he's supportive from day one. He watches all with, um, he watches all the videos. I haven't got Brian in shock, and I do apologise, but uh, he makes it a little, little family thing, and you know, he gets the kids and the wife and all that watching it. And uh, he's, he's one of my biggest critics as well, but he's one of my biggest supporters. He's ended up giving me um, some cast iron pans that we're going to bring up. Uh, they're really heavy, so we don't want to be carrying them all over. But uh, he says he's doing a lot of cooking. I didn't use them. Do you want them? And he used them a couple of times, so as a I and he's looked after with some uh, vital equipment which uh, he knows what it is and we really appreciate it Kev uh, thank you if you didn't mind mate if you didn't mind keep supplying that, that equipment it'd be great but you'll see the uh, cast iron pans uh, in effect hopefully on the next video up hardwood not on the kite one because too heavy probably simple to that Kev but I really appreciate it mate thanks very much aye so viewers are looking after when there's a lot of support like I keep saying and uh, after the last video we've, uh, we've reached over um, 300 I'm just gonna do some bad camera action yeah I'll bring Brian on well, I'm making a coffee lad that is terrible camera action but uh, yeah we've reached over 300 which is another milestone and we appreciate it uh, it's still climbing as we speak now and the, the progression on that video is really good we really appreciate all the uh, nice comments we're all getting a few bad comments on with Brian Aye. But it is what it is. There's a, there's a few he's getting bad comments on YouTube. And it's just people that's got no else better at the day. But well, yeah, doing this, looking at a view like that, enjoying a nice cover. Thank you very much. Speak to you all soon. Right, so I promised you on the last video in the night time and in the morning that I would do a review on a little chainsaw. Uh, Brian decided to bring one up ages ago. Just to make life a little bit easier, we're going to keep it off camera. But after seeing a few people use them before, why not? We can make it easier and concentrate on other things better, like cooking, getting with tops right, get my hammocks right, all that jazz. Why not make yourself a little bit easier, enjoy your camping a little bit more because it can be tiring. What's it like, Bri? Oh, really <laughs> your, your arms like on it, sorts, nigga, by the sun when you leave them, but uh, when you feel it at work. So, yeah, it's. Uh, I just got it off. That was me that's doing the graft anyway. That's, that's not bad. Ryan, Brian's just saying he is always doing the graft. It proves it on the camera. But yeah, it's me in China, but it says Dooley and Sons Limited. Cambridge, Ingle, England. So I wonder if that's J&J &J &J Trade Euro KFT. Um, I might link the proper name off what I got it off Amazon on the on the video below. But yeah, the top row comes in a... A nice box. Uh, the clips aren't the best. Brian had metal clips for his. Mine's just, mine's just red plastic ones. So I, I kind of see them uh, last in a while. And if they don't, I'll just bungee round it. <laughs> so yeah, you get the saw. I don't know how well you can see. But you get the saw. It's a, it's a six-inch saw with an adjustable chain and a safety guard for when cutting, so nothing flicks back in your face. Uh, you've got a hand guard there for when you're going down, but yeah it's pretty good you get two of these two 12 21 volt lithium batteries just slots in if anyone's got makita and stuff like that it's quite good and that's it ah the mad fire start over there you get a screwdriver that's for tightening and loosening your chain uh, i'll talk about that in a minute because i've just learned that myself and you get like a what's that called bry spanner it's like spanner is it like a spanner and that's to take the that's to take the guard off to change the chain pull the chain back whatever but it is definitely to take the chain off you get one spare lubricated chain so but i'm sure you can buy these if you need them six inch quarter inch chain and i didn't get it with mine but brian's is not and he's kindly uh give us some chain oil so what i'm going to do is uh quickly lube chain up just give it a quick spin a minute oil it before every cut it's even got a little light so you can see where you're cutting in the door yeah i'll put that back on talking about the chain as well you need to check it before you before you cut it's got to be a drop you've got to be see the teeth inside apparently so if not the little screws in there for the, the torque tighten it up or loosen it off it does self loosen so you need to watch that what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly
quickly put my box down there. Do you like me little office people? It's great there. I'm just going to show you. I've just found a bit of wood on the ground. Can you see us? So as you can see there, it struggled a bit. So what I might not have done is tighten the chain up. Well, no better than seeing it go wrong. There. Uh, let's try that again. See if it, it, I might have to change the battery. I don't know if I charge them. Yeah. It's playing up on us, Bright. Doing a review. This wood, it is soaking like. I'll do one more cut. There we go, man. So, yeah, could be the chain, but it, it does work. Let's do one more cut. It's cutting. Give the van. Let's give Brian a gun. More free than me, you know. Get away, Ali. I think it's because it's soaking wet, then I reckon. It is, it's got them that way. See, man, you're flipping shade. It's drier at the end. Show me that then, man. You're pushing on it too hard, aren't you? So there we go. It cuts. iPhone. <laughs> but yeah, it cuts. Like I say, it got it got put through its paces the last time, like so. The uh, nab right here. The chain change might be due soon as well. Yeah. I think that the wood something wet, man. Ah, it's wet. It's not, we're not inside the air forest, but. Overall, it's alright, isn't it? About a nine. It's done a good job, but yeah, that's the mini chainsaw, and you'll see it more if it lasts. We'll just use it until it, it wasn't expensive. I think it was about it was about forty quid on Amazon. You can't get the more expensive ones, but this is man. If you want one, I'll put the uh, the description below. Don't get a seeker. Don't get a seeker. Don't get a seeker. We still have any emailers back there, you know. But yeah. Brian showed you how to use it. <laughs>